This is a book written by my great great aunt Marion Sporbush. It's called They. I took the cover off and I pasted it in my journal. Um, she claimed to be a mediumistic painter and said that the spirits of the dead told her what to paint. And when I was younger, I was like, oh, she was clearly schizophrenic. And I never had much interest in her book, but recently I developed an interest after growing up and having lots of spiritual experiences on my own and realizing that a lot of what I had experienced lined up with some of the things I had heard about her. This is my favorite painting of hers. The stuff is really small, but it's... Let's see. If... It's so small. The Ship of Death. And it's actually really beautiful. It's like every seventh year, seven lily petals grow on a sacred hill and the ghosts of children collect them and once they've collected enough petals after seven times seven years or something along those lines they build the ship of death and it carries the ghosts off to a new and beautiful land it's very peaceful some of her other art was really disturbing <laughs> i really wish there were some digitized version of this but i haven't been able to find one yet definitely not an audiobook um, because I'm super visually impaired, I have to take a picture and then have my phone read the picture out loud. So I'm going through like one page at a time scanning it, and I'm on 80-something out of like 200. So this book is full of, it had some prophecies. Uh, there's a painting on her Wikipedia page under Marion Sporbush, um, where she painted two towers. This was back in the 1930s, an airplane crashing into them. And Harry Houdini, in, and it was titled New York, but then New York, comma, when, question mark. She's talked about in her book, uh, she experienced prophetic visions that the spirits would give to her, but in the other world, in the next world, they don't really have a concept of time like we do. So they were unable to pinpoint specifics, but they could say where and give like other general descriptions. As wishes from the dead, like, please don't leave flowers on our graves. Give them to the living. Because everything here is beautiful. There's no birth, there's no death. And the tiniest flower crushed underfoot is living and more beautiful than on earth. 